well that's after a couple of days so it's cured out time to put some base color on it so yeah it looks shiny on like gray but it's actually uh, black so turned out okay we'll see how long it lasts it's been curing four or five days it's been 90 degrees so it's as cured as it's going to be over here we're going to do let's see here yeah we're going to use m6s that's going to go there okay and this piece is going to go something like that and figure it out if I got to round off the corners or whatever so you're going to have the bottom something up in the four channel up here M6 rivet nuts in and and that carpet will go over it and then we'll see what if I need another piece of wood on the outside they are on so they will need to be countersunk a little bit I'll do that this here tomorrow it's a little dark out hence of the light and then we'll be able to slide over the uh, factory carpet cover and go from there okay battery there Full size spare sub box will go there. Everything's back in. Wood's there. I still got. I'm waiting for a power distribution block to go down in there. Um, so just a little. We're getting there. Those LEDs are nice and bright, making it. Yeah. Got to tidy up wiring. I'll do that tomorrow. For when that distribution block comes in, I'll tidy up with this run. It'll get cut off back there. Come come underneath here, the ground will also go back and down in a it'll look it'll look better. Instead of just being all that's why it still looks bad right now. So that's where we're at. We're getting there. I'll give you a little idea of what's going on here. So I've got a full size spare. So it sits higher than the floor. Battery was down in down in here. Originally, I moved it up over to the left. Then I realized the distance of this shelf is that the left side was bigger than this, so I moved the battery over to the right side. And then distribution block has two open spots for positive and two open spots for negative. I've got RCA running back. So I have access to that, and then obviously the sub wire. So this is basically a test bench for any car audio or stuff I come across to buy and sell. So that's why it's kind of set up the way it is. And then since I, di I didn't realize those were even down at an angle. <laughs> I had the seat down the whole time it looked it was straight from when the seat was down twisted <laughs> but so yeah I got a lot of loose wires I got to tidy up move those back up where they look better that looks kind of goofy but and figure out how to clean this up a little bit let's edit out some movie magic and get a sub box in here we're getting there we're getting there let's get everything cleaned up and we'll come back to that so yeah nice little daily setup able to be used as a test bench I've got some peep I got a PPI art series amp to test a couple kickers sub amp and a four channel 
about four or five other amps. These are not a bad deal on eBay for 140, 160 ship. 212s and either wire down to one ohm or four or two ohm, depending on what you want. But yeah, box, box and subs for 150, not bad. So yeah, a little four channel, 80 by four, a little 1500 one. Enough to do some decent testing with.